Your music sounds good, but it's kind of bland. It's not as loud and clean as you would like it to be. It doesn't sound as full and heavy as other music, especially when you're comparing it listening to other music in your car, all right? Or maybe you just want to stand out by putting some sound effects on your vocals to sound a little different like Lil Baby. <laughs> I hear you. We can fix all this by using every music producer's best friend when it comes to creating and enhancing music. My friends, fellow producers, aspiring music producers, we're talking about plugins. What are they? What do they do? Let's talk about it on the other end of this intro. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Platinum Lyrics and Beats. I'm your host, Trey Boy. I teach aspiring music producers how to create and sell dope beats online without the confusion and frustration of wondering where to start. On Platinum Lyrics and Beats, we look to assist you in getting started in your music production career and help you make some life-changing music and money. Okay, okay, what's going on? What's going on? Thank you, everybody, for listening to Platinum Lyrics and Beats. I appreciate your support and everything. We're talking about plugins today. What do they do and why do music producers and engineers need them? So let's jump in. Plugins are software elements to enhance the functionality and sound of an audio track. Okay, that's what they do. We use the software like the DAW. Okay, I'm talking about the DAW, uh, Digital Audio Workstation. All right. What we do is we add the plugin to the digital audio workstation, the DAW, and we can edit sounds. We can enhance the sounds of the audio tracks on the DAW. OK, so we have the DAW and then we have the actual software that we use on the DAW. OK, a DAW like Pro Tools or Logic Pro, etc. All right. There are two common types of plugins that we're talking about today. All right, there are many more, but I'm going to focus on the main two. They make changes, they enhance your music, and they're all useful in their own way. All right, but there's more, like I said, but we're just going to talk about the two. Plus, stick around because I have a bonus. All right, I have a bonus plug-in that I'm going to bring to your attention because this would definitely enhance your music. The first plug-in we'll dive in today is the instrument plug-in better known as one of the VST plugins. VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology. All right, these type of plugins make sounds, all kinds of sounds. It replicates many different types of instruments all within your favorite DAW. Okay, you can use these plugins in your favorite DAW. An instrument VST plugin comes with sounds like drums, bells, percussions, organs, guitars, 808, bass samples, synthesizers, and pretty much any instrument you can think of. All right, to be real with you, there are VST plugins out there for just about any instrument you want to replicate, all at your fingertips. VST plugins also help you save money, time, and space. All right, back in the day, we had hardware, which we call modules, tracks, even MIDI keyboards. We had these big old keyboards. We still have keyboards. I have a couple of them behind me now that I still use. All right. But we would put these in our studios. But if you didn't have a lot of room, it got crowded really fast. All right. So not to mention all the money you spent in buying different pieces of gear and hardware just to get a new unique sound, man. And it was worth it back then because that's all we had. But now the only hardware you need is one MIDI keyboard and you can control all of your VST plugins. All right. Once you purchase a VST plugin, you don't need another piece of hardware to go with it. You use the same MIDI controller or USB keyboard for every plugin on your DAW. All right. How dope is that? That's really dope, man. One of the VSTs I use is called Expand. All right. X-P-A-N-D. It's around $99, and the library on this VST is deep. I still use this plugin to this day, all right? I have other VST plugins, but this plugin will be one that you can, I think it'll be easy for you to start with, all right? Hip hop, R&B, and pop producers love this plugin, and a lot of us still use this plugin to this day. 
And if I was you and I was just getting started off and I wanted to look for a VST plugin, that's the plugin I would look to get. The second plugin we have is the effect plugin. The effect plugins are used to shape and enhance the sound of your music in a variety of ways. Many familiar sounds and popular music are created using these effects today. All right, I'm going to go through all of them. These effects include the EQ, reverb, compression, and delay plugins. All right, EQ stands for equalizer, in case you were wondering. All right, it's, that means equalizer. Equalizer plugins boost or cut the audio. It makes it louder or softer, and it comes with a specific range of frequencies to improve the quality of sound. All right, that's what the EQ plugin does. It can make the audio brighter or darker. It's one of my favorites. Next up, we have the reverb plugin. It stimulates real reverberations by using delay on the original source signal sent through it. All right. If you ever heard someone singing in the restroom and you hear that continuous echo in the background, that's similar to the effect of using a reverb plugin. All right. Then we had a compressor plugin. The compressor plugin reduces the level of the loudest portion of the sound and increases the level of the softest part of the sound. So it has a more consistent volume level throughout the track. All right. You don't want your listeners having to turn up the music on one part of the sound and on another part of the sound, they have to turn it down. All right. That's not a good look. These plugins are essential to creating a good mix and a great experience for your listeners. The last effect plugin we'll talk about is the delay plugin. It helps you do two things. It delays the audio signal and it repeats the signal. It's like screaming in the cave and hearing your voice come back to you over and over again. Okay. You can manipulate the sound and you can change the timing of it and how it comes back and make it flow with the beat. It's really nice, man. It's one of my favorites as well. These are the basic effect plugins producers and engineers use when creating and mixing a song. Okay, now here's a platinum tip. You can use multiple plugins on each individual track and change the order in which they affect the song. Okay, so that's really nice to know. I'm sharing that with you guys just to let you know these are tips that you can use while you mixing your music. Check it out. You can get all of these effect plugins we just mentioned in the complete studio bundle for new music producers, plus a lot more. It comes with the DAW that you get through the bundle. So the link will be in the descriptions below for that if you want to check that out. Now here's the bonus plugin, I promise. The MIDI Effect Plugin. MIDI Effect Plugins are really dope, all right? They manipulate the sound on your track as well, but in a more unique way, all right? They make your, 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 your vocals, they make your audio samples on your instruments everything man they can switch up a whole track they give you ideas you weren't even thinking about the mini plugin can be creative inspiring and fun to play with like i said they give you a chance to come up with ideas you probably <laughs> wouldn't have come up with yourself by just using these midi effect plugins okay they have different features like auto tones pitch changers arpeggiator looping and more so you can see how plugins can play a major role in music production and engineering. These are this is the basics of plugins. All right, there are a lot more. I'll share them on another episode, but these are the ones that will get you started. Look, if you need a kickstart in the right direction and you want to get started today, I have a gift for you. Watch the producer's blueprint, a free video I created for aspiring music producers just like you. The producer's blueprint. It walks you through each step. I'll show you the equipment you need to get started. I'll show you how to get started on a small budget, right? You don't have a lot of money to spend. I'll also show you how to create dope beats from scratch and how to set your beat store up online so you can get paid from the beats you create. Go to Aspire Producers Lab, RFU on IG. Check me out, Trey Boy Music. You know what it is. DM me the word produce and I'll send you the blueprint. And look, after you make your first beat, send it to me. Tag me on IG. I want to hear what you come up with. Thank you for listening and supporting the channel. Subscribe so you can watch more here for videos like this. I drop these every week to all the music producers out there. Keep producing that life-changing music to all the aspiring music producers. Go put in that work so you can join us in changing the world one beat at a time. 
I pray this episode will inspire you to get started in your music production career so you can make some life-changing music and money. Have an amazing day. Let's get that work. See you next week. This is Trey Boy. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>